Well, here it is. It finally came. It's uh, in a crate. It's giving uh, Ark of the Covenant from Raiders of the Lost Ark <laughs> and uh, Fragile. Okay, here it is. I just got the top off. This is all the packaging. It seems to be pretty good shape. Not too rusty. Get it up on the work table and check it out in just a minute. Okay, so here it is. I've got it mounted up on top of this little Harbor Freight toolbox. I needed a few more drawers of storage, and I figured this would be a good place to put all the bits for it, so including a micrometer. And uh, these two drawers will be for this thing. Anyway, it fits right on here, and try to turn it on a second here. Okay, so this is everything that came with it. I mean, there's a little toolbox too, but got some wrenches, Allen wrenches, the gears, I guess for the threading feed. That's something I don't know anything about yet. That's what I'm going to try to learn with this machine. These are a set of teeth that go in here the other way. So if you've got something larger, you can put these in and they'll grab the outside of it. Or the teeth that are shown here kind of grab the inside of a cylinder or a solid shaft or something. Um... It, I was just measuring this. It kind of looks like, I don't have any tooling bits today, but it kind of looks like the half inch ones will fit into this. Getting pretty close to the center. I just checked it out. It's like a quarter inch away, but I'll try the, I ordered some three eighths, but it kind of looks like the half inch ones will fit in these. The Harbor Freight I think is, is three eighths. Um, the tailstock, you can, you don't need to unbolt anything. The Harbor Freight one, you have to throw a bolt. This has an arm on it. This is cool. Um, got this for less expensive on, on eBay, and it's a bigger lathe. This one was, I, I found this one for 400 The smaller ones at Harbor Freight, I think, are five, six, seven hundred bucks. Um, this is a Morse Tapper 2, I believe. I've got a drill chuck coming. I found one on Amazon for 23 24 bucks. Um, anyway, what's cool about this is, well, I think you have to, I haven't tried it yet. But I think you have to wind this out all the way, loosen these, and you can move this. And I think this is kind of the, the X, the Y. This one, if you turn it slightly and then wind this in or out, I think you can do a taper, taper cuts on it. Um, so you can turn a cone if you wanted to. Anyway, speed control, forward reverse. I guess if you push this down, it turns it off. So leave that there. I'll turn it on right now. Uh, okay, so in the instructions it says to, I guess you make sure this is on, select this direction. I've got it in forward. And you really have to move the knob a little bit to get it going. It's not that loud. I guess when you start cutting, it gets louder. That's warp speed right there. So anyway, can't wait to use this thing. It's just, uh, I've got some washers to turn. I need to make them a 16th of an inch smaller. I think I might have to make some, uh, some conic washers and I might want to, uh, Try a couple of little, little things first. Uh, turn down some shafts. I'm always making spacers for alternators and stuff. And so when you make a rough cut, you'll be able to stick it in there and then true it on each side. So it sits in there against the bolt, for, you know, like alternator spacers or anything like that. Anyway, I'm excited. I can't wait to uh, get all the tooling for it and try to make some stuff. Thank you for watching.